Hello, hello, hello. This is the well-dressed Evan Rogers coming at you with Evan's Easy Japanese. We are doing another listening, and I guess I'm showing you the script. I shouldn't have done that. Let's see. We're on number three of the third set of questions. I have no idea which number we're on as far as the videos that I've made. However, let's do it. Um, I have updated my Patreon. I'm on Bitcoin. I got Brave. I got Steam at DTube. Everything you want to know, including links to these files, are in the video description below and also on how to find me. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Um, actually, I should probably click the play button. Sanban. Sanban. Elevator ni noritai What I should have told you is that what we're doing is that we are following, trying to figure out what the lady with the arrow pointing to her is says, what she is going to say. The lady's going to give us an explanation of what's happening and then give us three options as to what she says and we have to figure out what she says. All right, uh, three of those, they were all revolved around the noru verb, norimas, noru. One was a te form. One was the masho ending, which is a tentative. We call it tentative. And one was uh, the incomplete, the imperfective might be a better term. The answer was the first one. The answer was the first one. Uh, I will write it. Let's go ahead and see what it says. It says, Elevator ni noritai desu. Okay, so the thing that you want, so the verb is norimas, noru, noritai. Uh, when we use the tai, I want to do something, so it's the stem. So the stem of a verb, I can't just get noru apparently. Okay, the stem of a verb is when you just have like the mas form and you just take off the mas, you're left with what's called the stem. Add tai to the stem and you get I want to do whatever the verb is. And that turns into an E adjective. So, noritai, noritakunai, noritakata, um, noritakunakata. All of the E adjective endings. And to be polite, we had des. Sorry, I'm trying to get that no kanji, but I, I can't just get it. That's annoying. Anyway, uh, noritai des. So, somebody wants to ride. The lady with the arrow pointing to her wants to ride. What does she want to ride? The knee particle tells us. Then the answer is... Elevator. Elevator ni noritai desu. She wants to ride the elevator. Nan to ka? We've already done this like a trillion times. It just, there's two meanings. This one means, what does she say? Number one. Ah, norimasu. Norimasu. Ah, norimasu. Norimasu, norimasu, norimasu. All right, that's just the norimasu verb. Uh, norimasu means, so notice how it's the non-complete. So it's not mashta, it's mas. So that either means that either means she will ride it or she does ride the elevator. Here it is much more likely to be in the future idea, the future tense, because this ah here is like getting attention. Ah, hey, wait, uh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, that kind of a feeling. And then she says, norimas, I will ride it. So, uh, oh, excuse me, I, uh, uh, I'm gonna ride it. Uh, so this is actually the answer, number one. Uh, ah, norimasu. Sa, well then, norimasho, let's ride. The masho form here is what's called the tentative. And it means that what you're saying, you're not 100% sure about, or you're not exactly sure how, how rip roaring, ready to go you are with that idea. Uh, so, norimasu would be I will ride. Norimasho is shall we ride? Should I ride? Will I ride? What do you, uh, maybe I'll ride? I don't know. Kind of that feeling. Here, it, it's best translated as masho. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> let's, let's ride. Let's ride. That's got to be a song. So it's not really that one. Um, she's ru in the picture. She's rushing to the door. And the dude's like, Dad, what are you doing? And then she's like, oh, no. You wouldn't say, let's ride in that situation. Uh, unless some really weird context. Three, sugu no tikurasai. Uh, please ride right away. Please board right away. Uh, the kudasai, after a te form, the te form of norimasu, it's a group one, so norimasu, noru, no te, small two te. Uh, te form plus kudasai means please do something. I invite you to do something, or I'm asking you to please do something. And uh, sugu means right away. So please ride right away. 
I don't know, maybe if you're recommending somebody get on the, I don't know, the, the roller coaster or something. Hey, you got to try that roller coaster. Yeah, please. You just got to ride it right away. All right. So, um, the answer is clearly number one. If we have basic understanding of tef or, or uh, of verbs, which many of you probably don't, uh, don't feel bad if you don't. That's why I'm here. That's what all these verb ending means. Uh, just a reminder that verbs end in these like weird things, like the te form and the mas form and the mas, and that changes all of the the big three: the tense, the aspect, and the mood. And also, um, yeah, well, the, those three actually: the tense, the aspect, and the mood. If you don't know what those terms mean, um, we I have some videos um, that explain those. They start off with like 001, 002, 003. So if you just type in like 001, you'll get a link to a bunch of them. They have a giant my logo flags on them. So go check those out and it'll bring you to the basics of um, some of the linguistics. But um, basically, you know, in English, we change our verbs with verbs with words like can. I can eat. I will eat. I should eat. I should not eat. I will not eat. I am going to eat. I want to eat and all those sort of things. They come before the verb and they're in weird forms and sometimes they have two and sometimes they don't. Um, Japanese doesn't do all that. They use mas, masho, masen. They, they do endings to the verb that come in a strict order. And each little chunk has a meaning that signals meaning. This meaning, this meaning, the future, past, uh, passive, and all those sort of things. That's called agglutination. Uh, English is not an agglutinative language, so it's kind of confusing. Let's go over here and check out this listening one more time. I want to be right around the 248. Here we go. One more time. Great, let's listen one more time to that first one. Notice how she uh, uh, Norimas like she's trying to get the dude's attention. Norimas. Norimas, I'm gonna ride it. Ah. I'm gonna hop on. Norimas. And that's uh that's I'm gonna write it. Once again, any way you want to contact me in the video description, we got website links, Twitter links, all that sort of good stuff, social media stuff, and every way that you can support me is also there. I'm also on Brave, that's not listed in there, but if you want to uh just look at my website or this video, you'll give me some uh some base attention tokens. That being said. I also am on Subscribestar. Haven't put that together, but Patreon, um, new updated, uh, what do you call them? Tier lists, donation tier lists. I will stop talking. You guys have yourself a great day. Peace out.